Elaine. And I'm Jane. And we're also known as Camp Lovesick. Today we're going to be showing you how we make a queen size bed with so much storage underneath. The bed flips up so you can put so much stuff underneath, but then you also have access to bins at the front to pull out to have your daily stuff. Let's do it! In order to maximize our under the bed storage, I'm adding these boards to divide up the space. These boards will stop the baskets at the front of the bed from sliding back and stop everything else at the back of the bed from sliding forward when you're driving. Now that we have everything in place for the floor, let's cut all of the wood for the frame. To build this bed frame, you're going to need a bunch of 2x4s or 2x2s if you don't have access to a table saw. Now that I've got all of my pieces cut, I'm going to start putting the bed together. I'm going to build it directly inside the camper so that it's a super snug fit the whole way around. Now some screwing. Now that the frame's done, it's time to add the legs. If you don't have a pocket hole jig already, I would really recommend you getting one. They're very easy to use and it's way cheaper than buying plates every single time you want to attach two pieces of wood together when you can't get the screws from the other side. So we've drawn a line on our outside frame of exactly where we want the middle part of this board to go. We have our pocket holes on the bottom so that from the top you won't see the screws. Now we're just going to clamp it together while we're drilling the pocket holes and it will be done. Now let's do the other side. We're going to be putting two support beams in the middle, so let's find out how long. So you could be buying 2x2s two for this, but honestly it's so much cheaper if you do own a table saw to buy 2x4s and rip them in half. So since we need two pieces the exact same length for the bed, we just cut down a 2x4 and now we're going to rip it in half. So now we have the base of our platform, and all we have to do to make this really, really sturdy is add a few legs. So now that we have all the legs attached, we're going to be putting some cross beams on the floor to attach the legs together in a U shape because that way we can go down with screws into the floor and the whole bed frame is actually attached to the trailer. So heaven forbid something were to happen, you're dead in a crash or something, this bed is not going anywhere. It helps if you're very flexible when building things in small spaces. So work on that. So now what we have to do when we're ready to attach the bed to the trailer is just screw a few times down into these braces. We're staining the front legs as well as that front board so that it matches our couch. So now we have to wait 24 hours for these to dry and then we can coat it with varathane and reattach the legs. So now we have the legs attached, the front pieces stained and varnished. The whole platform is built so now all we have to do is bring in the plywood that will sit on top. So now we just have to attach these back pieces by screwing them down into those 2x4s that we had framed and then we attach this big front piece with hinges so that it'll flip up and give us a lot of storage. Jane, give them an example of what it'll be like. Whoa! Look at all the things you can store! Amazing. So now we're going to measure where we're putting our hinges and then we're going to just notch out a little piece of that back board so that there's space for the hinge to go. So now we're going to be cutting little notches out of these back pieces of wood to account for the space that the hinge needs here. We want this hinge to be on the bottom instead of on the top because one, you're not going to have this poking into your mattress and two, gravity is helping you by having the wood push against this versus pull away from it. So it's going to be stronger altogether. Okay, so we have our back pieces. We're about to screw them down, but before we do, we need to attach our hinges because they're going underneath. So a good tip for when you want to make sure that your hinge is going to exact place is just to put it where it needs to go, tape it, if you've ever heard of tape, and now 
You can lift this piece up to get in there to screw it down without worrying that this is gonna move and then not go in your exact location. Pilot hole every time. You think you might not need it, you need it. And now we can take off the tape and attach these back pieces. Great, now those are attached, we can finally attach our front piece to the hinges. So there you have it, we have this amazing bed built and all we have to do now to give you the final true look of what it will actually be like is put in the mattress and all the final touches. Let's do it. Are you ready for this? It's really good. Do you think we should chill them? Let's do it! Ta -da! I'm gonna stay here forever. Yeah, we chose a queen bed in the end just to give people more space and now it's giving us more space. It's so good. Can you imagine that before we did all of this, was, this was just two single beds and now we have a full queen with under the bed storage, this beautiful wall, all the storage up top, like it's, it's great. It's out of this world you know how much we did to I'm gonna buy it. I'm buying this camper. No, she yes, is not buying this camper. We're not the getting rid of it. The camper is still for sale. You no, can no. still buy it, uh, but we aren't done yet. And that is exciting for you because that means more videos. So what are we doing next week? Next week, we are building a real life barn door that anyone can have in their home, in their trailer, in their bathroom, wherever you Literally want it anywhere. for the door. This is super exciting because this DIY barn door is honestly not that expensive to build. It takes a bit of time, but we'll teach you how to do it. Stay tuned next week. We'll give you the whole rundown. Yeah, so do a subscribe, do a little belly ding, and uh, we'll see you in a week. See you then.